Callum, what was your, your take on the game this afternoon? Yeah, great game for us. You know, I think in the end it was you know, a really strong Aberdeen team. Uh, I think the boys were you know, younger players. It was really good. It was good to get Murray. A few boys who sort of missed a little bit of training. Who uh, weren't involved on Thursday. A, a good competitive 90 minutes and I think it was that. Any players that played that started the, the game or, or played in the game today do you think it will feature on, on Thursday? Yeah, well, obviously I don't really know the question. I'm not going to give you the answers to that, uh, Ross. Uh, but I think it was good to get them all. So that's everyone had 90 minutes, you know, there, thereabouts. So, you know, I think some fine performances. Again, good. It was uh, Murray Davidson also had an injury towards the end of last season. Completed his first 90 minutes. That was excellent. You know, and a, a couple of good performances from the young players as well. A few home debuts as well. Kyle, Kyle McLean, Jason, Jason Kerr and, and Scott Tanzer. Yeah, yeah. no, again, I think they equipped themselves really well. You know, Scott's played 80, over 80 games down in league football in England, so we have no problems with him. I thought he looked good composing the ball. You know, it was good for him to get a taste of the Scottish game against a, a really good Aberdeen team. You know, they've signed some, some good players as well, so it's, it was really good to get them involved. I thought young Alan Comrie was superb uh, the time he was on, so a good learning curve for them. You know, Jason... I thought a, a lot of things he did were, were excellent in the game. I, I think maybe playing in the lower league, he, he tried to take a couple of chances, but these things he's going to learn, he's going to get better. So for me, those type, these type of games are so important, so vital for, for young players uh, going into the season. So you've, you've touched on how important is this game in, in terms of preparation for, for Thursday's trip to Lithuania? I think it's massive. I think in the end, that's us. You know, players have got 90 minutes. I think it's the most important thing. You get to that fatigue stage at 70 minutes in the game. You know, and I think early on in the season, it's your sharpness. So again, Aberdeen kept the ball really well for the first 20 minutes and we had to work hard. Uh, we got into the game after that. Uh, and I think in the end it was, obviously we had one and one, they had a one and one, they scored it. So uh, I don't think the result isn't as important for us uh, at this stage uh, and looking towards Thursday. Our sort of main goal was to get players fit, get them ready for, for Thursday and, and Aberdeen were great. They played a, a really strong team for 60 minutes and you know, it was a great test for us. Just reflecting on Thursday, what, what was your take on that game against Trakai? Track out, tough game. Again, I think if I'm honest with you, I think there's something they definitely looked as though they're 18 games into the season. Uh, I think they would they were they were very sharp, technically very good as they always are over there. Uh, tough game. We could have probably done better with the goals uh, we gave away. In the end, you know, I think for me in Scottish football as a whole, we need to do something to to make sure our teams are up to speed. Uh, whether the season starts out, something happens. Because in the end, it's very hard going into competitive games. Uh, Early, so early on in the season and they having to compete with, with teams who are 18 games into their season so you know, I, I thought we cut ourselves really well we think we've got a lot of chance we know more about them we know how they play you know it's, it's different watching them live it's actually seeing them you know, actually playing against them so you know a little bit more about them so uh, again we've got everybody fit everybody ready to go we've got people today who are, are saying to Tommy you know play me on Thursday so yeah, it's good it's good to have the competition everyone wants to play in Europe I think it's one of those games as a player you always want to play in there was lots of pressure from St Johnson in, in that second half on, on the track high goal. Is that a case of trying to take that momentum from that second half performance into the game on Thursday? I think it's just getting the right balance. Uh, I think in the end we can't go gung-ho, we can't go counter flying at them because they'll, as we, we saw on Thursday night, they're a very good counter-attacking team, as all Eastern European countries are uh, and teams are. So I think it's getting the right balance when we attack, when we defend, you know, when do we set off and when do we press. You know? So I think we've learned a little bit more again, so hopefully we can get a, a good result uh, if they score still need to score two anyway so I think it's important uh, we, we, we attack them but also we're pretty cautious at the back as well So how much confidence do you have in, in the players that we can progress? Every confidence just, just finally just on something you mentioned earlier is summer football the answer to, to, to European, Scottish teams playing in European football? I think there's something that has to be done to help everybody uh, we want our teams in, in Europe to do well no matter if it's St Johnson, Rangers, Aberdeen, Hearts whoever it is we want the teams to do well we want them to compete in Europe so I think something has to be done when the, the games are now so early in the season. Uh, you're talking, what, six, seven weeks before the season starts. So th something has to be done to help us. And I think uh, not just St Johnson, but all other clubs and see how we compete. Listen, change it. You can try it. If it doesn't work, you try something else. Uh, but I wouldn't just st stand still and, and just carry on what's going on. Cheers, Callum. Thank you. Okay, cheers.